Hey everyone, well, welcome to World Entertainment. And did you realise the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie drops on August the 2nd? Only a few days away. Because it does. <laughs> this, of course, is the brainchild of none other than Seth Rogen. Whose last adventure in animation was Santa Inc. Well, fans weren't best pleased when they saw April O'Neil. When they saw an image of this body positive young black female, people pointed and went, who the hell is that supposed to be? And once they found out it was April O'Neil, people went, oh, here we go again. Well, now the director has done the Hollywood thing, attack the fans, tell them it's not for you anymore. And then I am have no doubt he will go and bitch and moan for a few weeks when the movie bombs and call everyone the usual names. However, apparently he's not concerned. But check this out. So exclusive. Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem director blasts haters about changing April O'Neil's race. Yeah. So the filmmaker behind the upcoming animated studio, a reboot, sorry, uh, Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem, has responded to some of the criticism made towards the movie regarding the portrayal of staple character April O'Neil. Speaking exclusively with MovieWeb, director Jeff Rowe says he is unconcerned about the pushback against Ninja Turtles including New York and black culture and explains why the changes made to April O'Neil are absolutely necessary. Why would there be pushback to New York? Ninja Turtles are always in New York. Here comes his statement. Yeah, I'm wholly unconcerned with those people who don't like it. You know, I would ask them to investigate their own thoughts about why they don't like it. But you really hit the nail on the head. Like, it's a New York film. It needs to feel like New York. And April needs to feel like a real teenager in New York. Historically, that character has been like a weird mom, friend, love interest. And we're like, no, April is one of the kids. She's a teen like them. She needs to be able to relate to them. And she needs to represent New York and what that means to the Turtles. So, that was a thing that we decided early on. And you know, no one on the filmmaking side questioned that. We're like, great, this is great. This is a great April. Let's go with it. And then, you know, the internet does the you? internet. Where are you? in a glass case of emotion. Okay, few things to unpack with that. First of all, you're clearly concerned. Why do I say he's clearly concerned? Because if he wasn't, whatever the question was that was asked, obviously the question was, are you concerned about the backlash? Because he says you hit the nail on the head there. He would have simply said, no, not at all. We've got a great movie and we're unconcerned about that. He doesn't. As a matter of fact, he doesn't even say we have a great movie. He just goes on a big spiel about why it's important. And it's about New York and everything else. We're so unconcerned that I'm going to give you this long ass answer. You don't do that if you're unconcerned. You'd simply go, no, we're not concerned. We know what we have. We know it's going to be a hit. We know people are going to like it. Move on. But he doesn't. The second issue here is teenager. April O'Neil is one of the kids. April O'Neil wasn't one of the kids. She wasn't a teenager. She was one of the highly rated reporters 
I believe it's channel five, if I remember correctly. How the hell do you now have the kid be the reporter? That means you're going to have changed the character to probably being a school reporter or some stupid crap like that. It's, it's so stupid. It is insane. And then <clears throat> he's doing the thing that Transformers Rise of the Beast did, saying it's about the black culture in New York. Why? And the funny thing is, that's not what Transformers ended up being. <laughs> it didn't even represent New York the way they said it did. It's so insane. And then he, of course, he's the internet will do what it does. And why would they hate the changes? Investigate yourself as to why you, you don't like it. Well, they don't like it because it's not the character they grew up loving. That's not the show they grew up loving or the movies. The character was what it was and that's why people loved it. You've just gone in and fundamentally changed that. So it's no longer the character people knew and loved. And this is an issue that all these studios are having. Disney with Marvel, Lucasfilm, Paramount with Star Trek, DC with what they were planning Warners with other movies. You name it. They all take the thing you loved. The franchise. And went. People love this. They love these characters. Let's fundamentally change it. And then blast the fans when they say. Why did you change that? <laughs> it's so ridiculous. If you fundamentally change. Who and what these characters are. It's no longer the character you knew and loved. Therefore you're going to push back and say. That's not what we liked. And then these idiots go online and go, oh, you're just this and you're just that. <laughs> why can't you accept the change? Well, why did you change it in the first place? He's saying April O'Neil needed to become black to represent New York. I, I don't know what kind of statement that's meant to be. But it's not a right one. Why didn't you just introduce a brand new character? You could have April O'Neil have an apprentice and that character could be black and you could even focus a bit more on her or him rather than April. But no, you had to go and fundamentally change one of the beloved characters. And then you're saying you're unconcerned but you go on a bit of a rant against the fans which shows that you're concerned. And the other crazy thing is, this thing already has a sequel confirmed. They've confirmed Mutant Mayhem 2, as well as giving Seth Rogen not one, but two seasons of a spin-off TV series for this thing. It hasn't even come out yet. This is getting crazy. They're greenlighting more movies and TV shows. They're pumping more movie money into this thing. And they have audiences haven't even seen it yet <laughs> ridiculous oh, and then people are meant to be on strike a stunt man just set himself on fire while protesting to prove a point which means you literally just went and worked while you're on strike because if you do a stunt like that you're working people are morons anyway with that I'll leave it there for this one. So cheers, and I'll catch you in the next one.